What's cooking everybody? It's Thor and in this video I'm guiding you through phase 3 of the Leviathan Redux Expedition in No Man's Sky. I will of course be handling all the steps on how to complete it and showcase the reward at the end. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So right after you log in, you'll notice that the second community milestone is completed. So make sure to open up the expeditions tab, go to iteration 2 and make sure to collect the perpetuity milestone. This will reward you with the upgrade from memory fragments to A class and 3 memory fragments for your inventory. Of course, as always, make sure to use these right away. So after you've collected the rewards for the optional milestone, make sure that the anchor point 3 milestone is being tracked. Fly into space and open up the galaxy map. And follow the expedition route, my first warp being into the Ahauki system. In every new system you visit, make sure to visit the space station and to get out of your starship to be able to revisit that system and at any time via teleporter, but also to be able to purchase an exosuit inventory slot right here. And make sure to also do that at the anomaly, so that's a total of two slots for your exosuit inventory per system. When done, fly out again, open up the galaxy map and continue on the route for the expedition, my second warp being into the Nomicon system. My third warp is into the Daybing Aupa 19 system and my fourth and final warp being into the target system Satans. Once you're there, make sure to look around for this icon on your HUD and make sure the pull's there. Make sure to land your starship at the approximate location, get out of it and use the target sweep function on your analysis visor to home in on the exact location. Check back regularly to see if you're still going into the right direction. And when you're close by, the signal should finalize on the exact location. Make sure to go there and the anchor point 3 milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with 2 memory fragments for your exocraft, 2 memory fragments for your inventory and 2 repair kits. Next milestone is the obsession milestone which will require you to use the memory renator yet once again. So make sure to hover above it and to select the manifest loop memory. The nearby loop pattern should be marked on your HUD, make sure to go there. Once you're at the approximate location, once again use the target sweep to home in on the exact location. And it should once again lead you to a grave of a fallen traveler. Make sure to interact with it. Make sure to select claim memory. And then the obsession milestone will be completed. Of course some things will spawn again and you will have to kill them in order to continue. When you're safe, of course, make sure to collect the rewards for the Obsession Milestone, which are Memory Fragment Plans and the third Memory Inkprint. So the next milestone is a Call of the Void, which will require us to steal three Whispering Eggs. Of course, you can use some emergency cartographic data and plot a route to an abandoned building, as these are always scattered around with Whispering Eggs. But they are also available on this planet in the wild, so make sure to locate one and to highlight it and to go there and then use your mining beam to shoot the egg and to collect the larval core. Do be careful though, as a swarm will pop up. You can, however, dig yourself into the ground using your terrain manipulator and they won't be able to attack you there. Make sure to just wait in this hole until you get the message that the swarm is still sighting. Then it's safe to get out and you can continue looking on for another egg. When you have collected the third and final egg, the Call of the Void milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with 6 Whispering Omelettes, 2 Memory Fragments for your Exosuit and a Memory Fragment. So again, you can use this time waiting for the swarm to subside to install all the memories you've just received. So next up you'll notice the Declassified Echoes milestone is being tracked, which will require us to collect 2 Storm Crystals. However, for this we will need to go to another system, so we'll keep this on hold for just a little while. Make sure to select the self-improvement milestone, which will require you to summon a memory fragment yourself. Open up your inventory, hover above an empty slot, select craft products, and then select the memory fragment. This will require 2 wiring loom, 50 silver, and 100 pognium. Of course you can hover above it and select to absorb the memory, and then install it onto an empty slot. Once you've done so, the self-improvement milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with 250 silver, 250 gold and 5 suspicious packages. So next up, make sure that the taking it with you milestone is being tracked. This will require you to earn 500,000 units in total. 
Get into your starship and fly towards the space station. Get out of your starship and walk up to the trade terminal. Of course it all depends how much money you've already earned up until this point. But if it isn't a lot, just interact with the trade terminal. Select sell and you can, for example, sell the whispering omelettes we have just received. As you can see, five of these are already worth 500,000 in the system, so that will already get you there. Another option would be to sell some of your larval cores as well, because these also have a very high value. And go through your inventory to sell some other stuff, like the flash ropes we got for killing the worms. Now if you sold off everything that wasn't to any use of you, you can always top it off, of course, with a whispering omelette to make sure to get there. And once you back out of the trade terminal, the taking in which you mouse down will be completed. And this will reward you with the component crafting blueprints and two memory fragments for an exocraft. So to gather the three storm crystals, you want to walk up to the teleporter and interact with it. And then you want to warp into the Denayanov system, which was the system for the first rendezvous. From there on out, make sure to exit the space station and to open up the galaxy map. Now you will want to enter Free Look and then go around these red stars. We are looking for the Upper Road 2 system, which should be 30 T light years away. Make sure to select it and to warp there. Make sure to track the icy moon Le Kegel and to fly there. You will want to land your starship, get out of it and place down the Minotaur Geobase we have unlocked earlier. Make sure to get into the Minotaur to be protected from the environmental damages. You want to go around and look for these rocks as these will contain the storm crystals we need to complete this phase. Then just wait for a storm to hit, because then they will open up and then you can collect the storm crystals inside. We will only need two, so any group you come across pretty much will do. So when it's storming you'll notice that the rocks will disappear and that you can harvest the storm crystals. Of course, as I said earlier, make sure to harvest at least two and the classified Echoes milestone will be completed. Claiming this milestone will reward you with two memory fragments for your exosuit and two regular memory fragments. Of course, make sure to also head into the Expeditions tab and to claim the Iteration 3 milestone, which will reward you with the Will Staker Cloak customization and 1800 Quicksilver. And that was it for this phase. I'll make sure to head into my starship, fly off this planet, and showcase you the cloak with Wick. So if you want to equip the Will Staker Cloak, make sure to head up to an Appearance modifier, select Backpack, and then choose to Customize Cape. Option number three, the Will Stalker Cloak. Of course, you can change the colors if you'd like to do so. And then save if you'd like to carry it on. And as you can see, this is what the cloak looks like. It's a very nice one, a little bit rugged around the edges, but that's something I really like. But then, other than that, that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was any good news for you. And I hope to see you again for phase four of this expedition.